Brendan, can you hear me? Yeah, no, and I want to say that there was oh, a No, I guess setup. you can't hear Steph, can you? Not right now, no. Because we're streaming. Can uh, you we... hear me now? Can you hear me now? Did you hear her there? Yeah. Not on Twitch. Just court. Yeah, I don't show you online on Twitch yet. What? I hate it when it does that. But you can hear her on Discord? Oh, yeah. Okay, testing, testing, one, two, testing, testing. We hear you. In, in, in Discord. And here are you on uh, the stream. Yay! All right. We are live. Ian should say something, though, because Ian's always a sticking point. Yeah, my computer sucks. Actually, it does. It's awesome. You guys suck. Yeah, for, like, our... Uh... Everybody's good. Yay! Oh, Twitch. Crap. One sec. We thought the yay was for Twitch. No, I. The problem is, it's 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 saying princes of the apocalypse. I have to edit that. But we're live, so go right ahead. Uh, hello and welcome to Dances with Kobolds. Uh, the uh the Kazgar game. I am DM Brendan, and tonight I am joined by uh Andy playing Trox, a paladin. I'm Lorne, I'm playing the Tabaxi Bard Merry Song. <laughs> yeah. I'm Stephanie, I'm playing the elf druid Lana Seifas. Lana! Oh, oh Lee, Ian, yeah, and, I'll and I'll be playing Dunnekin, the Grung Fighter. Fighter. That's yeah, that's it. Got his class for a second. Well, well my, my intelligence is an eight. And his and his wisdom and his charisma. He's a, he's a spy spider. I'm spider. I'm looking at spiders on the screen. He's a frog. He's a, frog. <laughs> he's a spider. People. Secretly, he is a spider. He puts two legs in each arm. And it's a frog costume. He's one of those like jumping spiders that jump really, really far. That's actually what I was looking at. That's why it's funny. All right. So last time. Our heroes met each other for the first time in a tavern in a small farming village. They also met an old, one-armed orc by the name of Scrag. The mayor of the town, Verna Goodearth, asked the party to investigate several mysterious disappearances. The party spoke to several villagers regarding the disappearances and were offered a reward for the recovery of a special ring one of the missing villagers was wearing. The party laid an ambush for the attackers and managed to defeat two humanoid mushroom creatures. They were congratulated by, for their feat by Scrag, the orc they had met earlier that day. And that's where we left off. <clears throat> Did we... We heard about the ring. We haven't encountered it yet, though. I can't remember. Yeah, is you it have not round? found the ring? Oh. Nope. Well, we should get to the source of this, so let's have a rest for the rest of the night and go out in the morning and follow their tracks. Are you guys going to rest here, or are you going to go back to town? There were a few other houses, too, I'm trying to recollect. There were other houses, but only one house has been hit each night. Right, okay, so... We might as well stay it. here, then, right? Yeah. Um... What are the sleeping arrangements? Because there's four of you in two beds. No one named Goldilocks was sleeping in this house. Uh, you lost Andy again. You did, Andy. You're oh. you're roboting. Sorry. Uh, still roboting. You're good now. All right. Weird. Frustrating. Um, I was just wondering if anyone named Goldilocks was sleeping in the house as we vie for the beds. Well, I'm getting. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting my own bed. I thought you were calling Staff Goldilocks. Well, someone has to object to our sleeping in their bed. No one uh, owns no, this yeah. house. This house was um, abandoned. Yeah. Not abandoned, um, but... Unoccupied. unoccupied, yeah. So, here's my thought. The poisonous tree frog, or whatever type of terrain frog, should probably sleep alone. Oh, all terrain, frog. terrain frog. Thank you. I can sleep on that rug. Delicate flower Mary can uh, sleep in the bed. 
He's so a here's my thought. They sleep anywhere. Here's my thought. There are three of us other than the Grung. So Racist. Whoever... No, 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 no. The Grung it, it has poison skin. I, I, I don't want that touching me when I'm asleep. I can, I can literally idea. call dibs on anything just by rubbing it on my forearm. <laughs> huh, interesting. I hadn't thought about that. Why don't we get you a bucket to sleep in? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's a good That's idea. A good idea. So I need the, so I need, like the, I need to be, I need to, I need to, so I need to submerge so once every 24 hours. So I'll do it We're mostly going to hand wave that. We're not going to worry about it too much. Yeah, we're, uh, but I'm going to help him get like a nice little tidy barrel there. there. Trox, um, let's see, are these doors open? Trox wants to go over here and lift up the rug to see what's underneath it. Nothing is underneath the rug. <laughs> What's in the basement? Nothing. It's an empty root cellar. Um, this house is not lived in. There's no food. Okay, in, in, in the... I'm going to say corpses, and I, I, that's sort of a pun, I guess, of the fungi. Was there anything of note? No, and oddly enough, they don't have organs or anything. They're just like a solid fungus mass. It's weird. You're not oh. quite sure how they were able to like look about. They they don't have any muscles or anything. Uh, no endoskeleton, just big mycelial no. mass. Alright. Um, it's magic, I'm baby. To... We don't oh, have to explain water. shit. Oh yeah, where's... uh? He can... Sleep anywhere. Alright. He's old. He's old. He should get to bed. Oh, oh you're. We're losing uh, I'll again. sleep over here by the fire. And he, in minutes, is already out like a light. Not even out of his armor. Uh, I would probably offer to take first watch. Alright, yeah, why don't you take first watch? I'll take second, and you can sleep in the bed during the second watch. Yeah, we. I figure whoever's not taking watch can swap out. Alright, um... Give me a perception check over taking watch. You don't see anything? What's, What's the temperature, temperature outside? Uh... It's um early or late fall, early winter. It's probably like mid fifties at night. Yeah, okay. Maybe lower, because it is kind of far north. Do you want me to do uh, a perception yeah, check? Yeah. Neither of you see anything. Um Oh good. The next, uh, the next dawn approaches, and uh, Scrag starts to head back towards town. He says he's going to um, inform the mayor of what happened and consult the uh, the books that are kept at the uh, defender's headquarters in the city, or not headquarters, the defender's uh, branch in the city, mm -hmm. to see if there's anything about these weird creatures. Okay. Because each, each branch has a small, like, library. As you do, as you do. For doing, for doing... They, they run into a lot of things. It's uh, always a good idea to be informed about what you're fighting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, in the morning, uh, do we have any reason not to go back to the town? You don't. All right. Uh, uh, that's why I want to continue fo fo following the tracks while they're still fresh. <clears throat> okay. I mean, yeah, if they're heading back into the woods or something, that would make sense. Yeah, they're heading north of town into the woods. Alright, well, we can yeah, yeah, follow, follow those. those. Alright, so you guys are following the, the uh, trail. The path through the fields and woods leads to a small, well concealed cave in the forest north of Springs Harvest. The entrance uh -huh. is covered by a thick layer of hanging moss. It's 
about an hour's trek. Oh, okay. wow. Uh, just... North of the furthest north house. <laughs> you just, the uh, September <laughs> Okay. The entrance of this cave is covered in a thick layer of hanging moss, and it would have been impossible to find without the trail. Because they're Once a bad OPSEC. Is there what? They, they have bad OPSEC. Keep going. Oh god, I've accidentally closed my, uh... Hang on. What's OPSEC, honey? Operational security, I think? I think that's what it means. That's the, where you're being stealthy shit. Once inside of this cave, the air is thick and damp, and millions of spores hang in the air. <laughs> the walls are coated in mushroom and lichens of various colors. Stalactites hang from the ceiling through the cave, and they're coated in this similar fungus. Which sound of water is the spores in? Dripping from the stalagmites is constant. Every stage. So, so cellular, so animal, tribe, and galaxy? Yep. So, this is clearly where these things are hanging out. Is it, does it, is there, is there Robo -Robo Andy. Oh, really? No, no, now you're back. Man, frustrating. You should get um, one of these blue snowball microphones for your computer. No, it's, it's not, that's not the problem. It's, it's a bandwidth issue. I've been having yeah. trouble with Comcast. Yeah, it's an internet issue, not a tech issue. He is so, on the Mac. Everybody else sees that. Ian does not see it because he doesn't have dark vision. Ribbit. Are you going to light a torch or. Ribbit. Might yeah. as well. Uh, who's carrying the torch? Uh, I guess I need it, so I'll carry it with my little froggy fingers. You do not have a shield. Oh, right, my shield. I'll uh, carry it. I'll carry it. We should, we should uh, uh, get a big nail, because it's a tiny shield, uh, and we're going to get someone to bend it, because it's a nail, so that's not hard, into a U, and then we're going to bang it in the and put a torch in there or hang a lantern. Okay. You don't have the equipment to do that right now. Nobody brought nails with them. Let me check my purse. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Well, what about that eagle there that's just sitting there doing nothing? It could go get one. Tweety? No. That's a uh, very descriptive name. Right, the, I had to come up with one you, on a fly. Uh, the path forward. when you enter this cave goes, uh, it splits two ways. Uh, the way you're going, uh, the spores are thinner. Right. Oh, really? Thinner really? To the, the other ceiling, way, there's a much the... thicker, almost difficult right. to see through layer of spores. Let's go that way then. Are they closer to the ceiling or the floor? They're evenly distributed throughout the cave. The cave is covered in all sorts of various fungus that are just letting out um, spores constantly. And which way was the the way with more spores? South. The way South had less spores. Uh, west is, like, hard to see through thick. Um, are, are there just tracks going both ways up uh, to the west There are and tracks down? going south. There's not tracks going west. Alright, we'll, we'll, the, we'll follow the tracks first. Alright. So, the fighter division in a torch is just uh, surging ahead. Look up there. I'll call them. You guys We're can see the... Any. You guys can see the areas you've walked through, right? The advanced bug of war is yeah. working? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, that's cool. much better. That's much better than... Uh, huh. Beforehand. Uh, yeah, what were, oh, in, uh, in Straw, that was such a problem. Like in the houses. Yeah. yeah, it was so effing annoying. I couldn't stand it anymore. You see ahead of you a crossroads? Okay. Paths going each Where? direction. Over here. Over here? Like here? Like here? Yep. Yeah, like there. Stop right there. Me? As you walk past this sort of smaller side path, you see. Where'd that guy come from? As you walk past this section, you see spider webs hanging from the ceiling, shredded. Like, not at all attached to anything below, like, five feet. 
and I need everyone to roll for initiative. You hear these weird clattering, clicking noises of um, of chitin against chitin and chitin against start. stone. Yeah. Chitin. Chitin? I've already started chitin. chitin. Yeah, I always nope. heard of chitin. Nope. Chitin. Nope. Chitin. Oh, where's? There we go. Chitin. Fox, you exist twice on this, which is unfair to everyone else. Nice. You, took, you took the lower of my two. Oh well. I took well, the one you the just first rolled. one didn't roll. I'm assuming. The first, well, the first one was from a different page. Was it? And I, from the I darkness, actually... there's these oh, massive eight-legged creatures, uh, spiders that look similar in color to the fungus man you fought before. Oh, interesting. Oh, let me guess. They've been co-opted by mitochondids. Mitochondids? What are those? Mitochondria? Oh, Mycondids, whatever. We, we're not seeing these things, apparently. Yeah, yet. hang on, I've got to find the character sheet for them. Are they, like, around the corner, and that's why we can't see them? Oh, I yes. see them. They're, they're, they're vicious. Uh-oh. I don't see anything. That's because you don't have dark vision and the torch is on the floor. Oh, I think I see it way the hell down there. Yeah. But I wasn't there, so I'm here. <laughs> okay, so this guy is going to move. What's his speed? Still not seeing anything. Oh, it's going to be back there. Well, okay. To be fair, you're way back here. Yeah, you would hear this. These are not they're, subtle they're, creatures. Yeah, that, that's fine. I was they're just also down, really down a side passage that's this way. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I'm just. I would move up, but we've already rolled initiative, so I figure it's only fair if yeah. I. <laughs> you would have been closer to the front, but worry about that for future things. You should be walking near the front, probably. Well, just Ian was valid. surging ahead, so I was going to let him with the torch find whatever he found. <laughs> If you want to run, all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I will. Hmm. I will step back to let our fighter be a fighter, and I will use my longbow. All right. You mean attack roll? Yeah, it is. It is a miss. <laughs> That's a real bad miss. Oh, no. And I curse. And that's it. <laughs> All right, Mary. All right. I'm going to give us some help here, hopefully. Uh, all right. Going to move here, at least. Those look ugly. God, I never want to. Oh, that's that's the uh, that's the in the book picture. Yeah, I I I'm arachnophobic, so. Oh, that's gonna be a bad dungeon for you. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, yeah, it probably is. That, that's okay though. I I help the <laughs> sweet. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tiny bumper. All the more re reason to kill him. Kill him dead. I give him a hit. I believe in you. All right. Uh, bonus action. I'm going to inspire the fighter because he's probably going to need it. <laughs> so he has a D6, and <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Has a D6, has a D6. Yeah, you know, we're not going to do that for spells. Instead, uh, I'm going to play a little cautiously and fling a dagger at that closest one. All right, give me an attack roll. That is a hit. hit. Nice! Oh my god, for max that. For near max damage, too, so yeah. You find a little hole in the chitin. Your knife is straight through. 
Cool. All right, Trox. Trox is up. All right. Uh, I think I can make it up there. Five. Uh oh. Well, I can make it up to there. Oh, yeah. Well, right in the midst of them. Um, Trox has a heavy crossbow. Oh, wait a minute. Trox has a glaive. Yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> Blue for bardic inspiration. Nice. I've never, never played Blaze in a. Yeah, you've got a 10 foot reach. Yeah, give me an attack. Give me a damage roll. That hits. Uh, right. Ian, that's not blue. That's me. Well, Is that not blue? No, it's purple. That's purple. That's purple. I, 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 purple. I, I know, I know you, fancy. Do, you do have color blind. Right. That's red, so, red, green, right? Uh, there... I have Proforia, I think it's called. Um, oh, interesting. That's a, Trox that's a variant. brings right. the glaive down and slices off one of these legs, and right. out from the hole that he creates, this like spray of gross spores um, <laughs> and ichor and all this and various other disgusting things sprays out of this hole. It doesn't hit you. It doesn't do anything. But it's definitely not what should have come out of that hole. Cover your oh. mouth, you guys. All right. Um, I'm going to hang out right... Actually, I can't move anyway, so there I am. Right. Dunnikin. So I can't You're see what they're fighting, fighting behind me, right? No, but you know they're fighting something. But there's also, but there's this, also guy this guy up here. There is... Wait. Blowgun. Blow gun. You can I'm going to shoot guys. that guy. Okay. <laughs> this guy has not responded to you yet. Soup. You also, I don't think, have the range. What's the range on the blowgun? Oh, oh, I can't remember. It's 30 over 60, I think. All right, so you'll be at disadvantage. Or you can just walk just up walk... a little little more. You haven't moved yeah. yet. Yeah, that's but... actually true. I'll just move up five feet. Five feet. Okay, give me an attack roll. <laughs> ah, 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 I will first, first you know, put the, uh, put the, uh, the dart rub the dart against arm. my arm. Okay, give me an attack roll. That misses. Bastard. I can't think of a better weapon than a glaive to fight um, <laughs> uh, Don't forget, he has a d6 that if he wanted to add. Yeah, you may add a d6 if you'd like. D6, d6 for what? I you did inspire you. Oh, oh, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, I'll use that now. All right, roll a d6. And just barely. All right. Sweet. You, uh, hit. What's the save on it? I think, uh, I think it was a 12. 12 right? Also, right? blue guns are just one damage, right? One plus dex. One plus, one plus, three. plus three. One plus three piercing. All right, so four piercing, and what's the poison damage? And what's the con I'm save just, for it? I'm, I'm pulling the, up the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the PDF right now. I think it's 12? What was the name of that grung, uh, grung, uh, PDF the PDF name. Uh, one grung above, I think. <laughs> it was that, wasn't it? It is one grung above. Yeah, it was, yeah. Okay. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, we got more than one of these things in here. I opened the wrong one. This is a nice map. I did not make it. Wait, you need to buy it? I thought... Uh... Uh, okay, I have it here. It's a con a save. TC 12, 2d4 poison damage. I thought I had found it for free. I had linked you to a copy of it. Because I have it. No, I have no, no, the stuff from the Google. other encounter that Ian has dragged in. Makes its con it. save. Okay, okay, so his con save, save is... Where's the poison? It's at 12. DC 12, yeah. 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 Okay, it rolled it a 19. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Alright, here we go. Cool. Scraping wretches. Yep. 
manages to get to there before um cannot go any further. Get stuck. All right, this one is going to move forward to here. Take a bite. We move to here. You're gonna try and take a bite at Trox. This one's actually know. climbing upside down onto the ceiling to also nice. have a a line of sight at Trox. Hey, why did my armor class go down to sixteen? Shouldn't have. Are uh, you not wearing a shield? But I have defensive fighting style. It should be seventeen. Oh, you know what? Oh, know what yeah. It it's um roll twenty it's keeps doing calculating this. it automatically. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah turn it off or, or add a pl a bonus on the last page. Uh, yeah. That's the easiest uh, way to always have it up. So 17 is my request. 17 JC, 11 does not hit. Okay. Other one is going to come. I'm going to offset these slightly so you can specify which one you want. Uh, but he's directly below the other one. Uh, he's going to attack Trox. How about that? Uh, 17. That's my armor class. You take a you take ten piercing damage. Ouch. Lana Cephas. Going to no, hit it with my bow. No saving throw. No saving throw. All right. Oh, you know what? How many Which spells do I get a day? Their venom glands are clogged. Three or four. With I oh I get three. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I will cast fairy fire on both of them. Nice. Uh, you can hit three. Yeah, there's three of them there. Yeah, I, there's one just around the corner. I will cast Fairy Fire on all three of them. All right, I was going, going to save. cast it, and then I'm like, uh, maybe not yet. Yeah, I, I figured I'd do it. All and right, then so I... the one on the ceiling succeeds. The other two are now glowing with a bright light. Yeah. What, what's, uh, what's the light what? on it? Oh. <laughs> uh, pink. <laughs> it's not what I meant, but okay. Because it's Valentine's Day. No, she does get to choose the color. I, I meant like, what's the <laughs> what's the range on the light? Oh, uh, it's dim it light. I think radius, or is it twenty feet? Yeah, I think it's twenty feet. Here, um, oh, here we go. Fairy fire, twenty foot cube. What? Oh, ten yeah. feet. It's ten feet. Advantage to attack, so everyone gets advantage. On two of the three. <laughs> on two of the three. And they're bright pink. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone! <laughs> can you can you make them? Can you put little messages? I am doing. I am making them done. Be mine. One of them keeps saying, "Be mine." Okay, uh, Mary Song. All right. Uh, seeing as how I flung my only dagger, that is not going to work again. Cool. Um. Yeah, you know what? Uh. Well, uh, I will. No, I'm gonna hold on to my inspiration and see if I can use it later. Uh, shoot. I. Uh... Unfortunately, I, I I don't want to try and slip in there because I will probably get hit and killed. <laughs> and I don't have any ranged options other than... Okay, you know what? Yeah, we'll cast a spell at it. Uh, we'll cast a spell at the one on the ceiling. Okay. Oh, that's good, because it's not the voice. Hey, has my voice been cutting out still, or is it okay? You're now? good right now. All right. That's actually a decent roll, too. He just kicked his wife off the TV to get bandwidth back. Nice. All right, uh, but uh, using Windsor, it's, it's a wisdom save. Uh, it takes half damage on a right. success, Rolls on a eight. failure, it has disadvantage. Disadvantage. So, disadvantage on its next attack, I believe. Um, okay, 
Yeah. yeah the creature. Oh, wait. Okay. Sorry. Wait. No. Target has to make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, it takes damage wow. really and sick. immediately uses its reaction, if available, to move as far as its speed allows away from me. Oh. Okay. Uh, you do not get an attack of opportunity because this is forced movement. No, it's not. It's not, uh, not being okay. teleported away. Wait a minute, it's not being teleported away. No, but forced movement, you can't make attacks of opportunity against things that are being forcibly moved. Like if, if someone grapples something and drags it away from you, you don't get to attack it, for example. Yeah. Um, and it takes seven damage. It takes the damage and starts to try and crawl away. It actually falls to the ground. Um, not enough, not far, far enough to take damage, but it scuttles back up and starts flying or running away. Not flying. They can't fly. They're not that scary. <laughs> Metaphorically fly. All right, Trox. You have been bitten badly by this thing. What do you do to it? Uh, I'll go after uh, one of the one of the glowing ones in front of me. Oh, actually, I only have two in front of me, and they're both glowing, right? Uh, yes, they are. Save right. advantage. 17, then. That is a hit. Give me a damage roll. Disappointing. And that's enough. Oh, oh all right. Next one. Um, in front of me, so... Well, actually, 17. Hey, you, you, you don't even need to find crack and it's carapace like Mary did with his dagger. You just bring your glaive to the side and slice its uh its uh, head open and the okay. same sort of black it's, icker and it's cephalo spores cephalo fill over the floor. Lit open. Um uh, let me check real quick. I don't think this lay on hands I think that's an action. Though. That is an action. Okay. Um are the rest of the the two people behind me are kind of squishy, so it'd probably be better if I just stay here. If you guys can revive me, can <laughs> everyone do. everyone except Dunnikin can heal? Yeah, I think I might take the opportunity to jump out here then. All right, and I'm done. Dunnikin, your turn. Okay. Right. Go. Go. Oh, hang on, I need to actually roll for these guys because they weren't in combat. Give me a second. They are, they are now, bitches. DC twelve poison. Hang on. You pulled the next encounter. Like an in, so. build? A lot of rolling. What's that? Are you going to go like archer build? No. I can't see in the Let's dark. Skip to your turn. All right. Uh, so you rolled a fourteen. Does hit. Alright, and what's the uh, poison damage? Roll it. Oh, it's a uh, it's, uh, 2d4. Nice! All right. Nice. This spider is now going to move forward. And bite at Mary. It is nice using a venom darts at spiders. Since they've been traumatizing the rest of the... Uh, uh, rolls an eight. Over. Does not hit. Awesome. I think I'm using them on mushrooms, actually, not spiders. <laughs> Mary very deftly dodges out of the way. Mary, Mary very deftly. Mary very 
deftly dodges. Wow. So, oh, what is the speed on these things? Mary very deftly dodges. I'm guessing there are 20. Mary, Mary, Mary. Damn it. Mary very deftly. Alright. Uh, dodges. The, uh, dangerous. <laughs> daggers. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't last any time. That just is only the one reaction. Yeah. It's going to move back to here, crawling on the ceiling again. So there are two in front of you, one on the ceiling, one not. Which one looks more injured? The one on the ceiling is uh, more injured, by which I mean it is injured. It's also. Uh, the one on the ground is glowing. Yeah, I, I, I they're know that. They're two separate ones. They, they, they have two separate conditions. Whoa. That thing. Lana. Okay, I am going to use my bow and shoot him. Which one? Whichever one is glowy. Whichever one looks the right. most hurt. The one glowing... that's glowing is not hurt. <laughs> the one that is hurt is not glowing. <laughs> glowing one, then. Alright, give me an attack at advantage. Nice. Whee! Right. Eight damage. Solid hit. Takes out one of its eyes, but it has seven more. <laughs> <laughs> not so as good gross. of a... Uh, a hit as if you'd attacked most of the things. Uh, anything right. else? No, uh, that's it. Or you know what? I'll move like over here. And I go, Dunnikin, okay. come on. Uh, as you move sword. over there, you start to notice the uh, figures in the darkness that are advancing towards Dunnikin. Alrighty. Finish off these spore biters. Alright, Mary Song. All right. Uh, can I still reach the one on the ceiling? You can. The ceilings are ten feet high here. They're not. All right. Especially difficult to reach. So we're going to pull out my rapier because I didn't have it out yet. I've been using my flute, I believe, and we're going to attack the one on the ceiling. All right, that's a hit. Nice. You're doing pretty well. Anything else? Uh, yeah, you know what? Um, we'll pop one of these onto the only one who's injured. All right. Troxy heal five points. Nice. And that's my turn. All right, so these two figures come hurtling out of the darkness towards Dunnigan and surround him. They look like... They're the same sorts of creatures you fought before, yep. these big mushroom men with the... Yep. The weird heads and the tiny feet. Are these things not like humans? Or are they... They are. are they, they're he, just, he, he just said it wrong earlier. Okay. They're Mykonids. There's no L... Trucks. All right. Um, so one's glowing, one ain't. One's glowing injured. Glowing on the ground. They're both injured now. Okay. Uh, I'll go after the one that's gloweth. All right. Give me an attack roll. Yeah. yeah. 15. That is a hit. Give me a damage roll. Oh, man. At minimum damage. Yeah. Or no, you have a plus two mod. Yeah. Two. Fucking two. All right. Uh, Dunnikin. These two 
mushroom guys much larger than yourself have surrounded you and back, backed you into corners lately. Oh, that means they're outnumbered. Uh -huh. So, uh, I am going to... I'll hit the one that's uh, to my left. Okay, give me an attack roll. Oh. That is a horrible miss. <laughs> My, My sticky, sticky fingers. fingers. I grabbed the wrong part of the sword. <laughs> Finger pads got stuck together. Alright, uh, this guy is going to bite Mary. Uh, 21 to hit. Ouch. How is a bard supposed to have a 21 AC at this level? <laughs> Honestly. Do you take 9 piercing damage? Yeah, Your question is, I not know that. that. Brendan's given poor Lauren nightmares with, like, mushroom spiders. Alright, and then this one is also going to try and bite Mary Song. An 11. Uh, 11 to hit? Yeah. Yeah, that misses. Yay! I'm a bard. Of course I went dex based. Hey guys, I found it. It's right there. The moral of the story. It's right there. What's the moral? No, it's right there. It's like just south of the guy I attacked. The wall. No, that mushroom looks like a moral. Uh, oh, boo! Yeah, that one. But it's funny if I say moral. Boo! <laughs> Alright, Lana. I'm gonna hit it! Which one? Uh, the one that gives me advantage. Alright, give me a tackle. Oh, Are you kidding me? Alright. <laughs> well, Anything else? Yeah, uh, crushing. <laughs> well, are these, the, everyone's getting really beat up, right? Uh, Mary's the only one is really damaged. Donakin hasn't been hit yet. You haven't been hit yet. Trox got healed up. I will do a healing world to Mary. Yeah. A healing world? Word. word. It's a healing world out there. No, it ain't. <laughs> All right. So from around the corner, Donakin, you start to see these smaller, uh, closer to your size mushroom people. Um, they're down on all fours. They don't. They're not walking Seven healing. Up upright. Like uh. So they're like kick them all. mushroom in our. We just go around kicking them like puff balls. You could try. I'm sure nothing bad would happen. All right, Mary. Attacking the one on the ceiling. That's a hit. Nice. That's minimum damage. Damn. At least it's damage. Uh, the four is minimum for me. It's a one plus a three. Yeah. All right. Uh, Ian, I need you to make me a... I'm not done yet. Oh, you're not done? What else are you going to do? <laughs> I was going to inspire Ian again. Okay. He's in over his head, so he needs he needs all the help he can I get. Think, all right. Dude, yeah, everything, everything is over my head. Right? Oh my God. Even my Ian, gun. I need you to make me a constitution saving throw at disadvantage. I disagree on that. I'm poisonous. I know that has nothing to do with it. I'm just going to use it for everything. Okay, and just barely, this fog of spores that erupts uh, directly in your face from the first mic in it, uh, you were able to shrug off the effects. You feel, like, really calm for about a half a second. I now need, to make me, need you to make me another con save. Okay. Again, a disadvantage. Ouch. Okay, yeah. you are fine. <laughs> you are I liked it. So that, that time, time I tried to hop it, and the, the guy was like, hey, get away from me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you try embracing it. Wait, give me more of that. <laughs> All right, well, Drox is going to go after uh, the, the shiny. All right, give me a attack roll. You guys are really bad at, like, concentrating fire. 
Jeez, nine. I... <laughs> no, well, the three of us are really good. I'm going after the one that's more injured. That's why. We've got right. somebody who's wasting an arm on an owl, a half a cat, and somebody who stabbed Jesus. Wait, what? Well, that's what he looks like. Isn't he like Pontius Pilate or something? Who? It's that it's Roman guy. He's not Roman. He's just what? What's he a Roman? Is this, are you trying to cast vicious mockery? I don't think Romans had helmets like that. It's got like the horse hair thingy, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's not got like that that like Roman helmet that I would. Expect. And he's got like a glaive. Yeah, the Romans didn't use glaives; they used gladii. Gladii uh, and and and, 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 and flyus. Anyway, Chalks misses. Pillum. Pillum. Yeah, that's what they use. They use pillum. Pillum or spears. They or javelins. They use those. They didn't fight with those. They oh, threw dude, those from the plot. That's the chipped up rice, rice with like veggies in it. No, it's a it's a little. It's essentially a large arrow. I was making a peel off joke. Oh, All right, yeah. go go in. <laughs> I am going to. Uh... Oh, I had an anime moment there for a second. I'm going to attack the same guy. All right, give me a attack roll. Oh, oh, oh. The effects of the spores were more potent than you thought. <laughs> and when you go to swing, you just space out for a second and swing way wide. Oh, oh man. man, we need to take one of these home. <laughs> right, this one's going towards uh, Mary again. Trox is kind of hard to reach. I uh, you take eight piercing damage. What'd they roll the hit? Twenty-four. <laughs> you told me not to tell you. <laughs> no, 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 no! I, I never said not to tell you. <laughs> you made it sound no, like a bard. No, no, I, I, I said, how could a bard have over twenty AC at level two? <laughs> All right, so this guy is going to come into attack, Dunnikin. Yeah. You can try. You're just gonna eighteen systematically. Uh, read the spores. I got eighteen Is that with my shield. Let me double check. Yeah, so it hits. Because uh, don't, oh. I don't think you can have more than eighteen right now. No, because chainmail is six, right? Chainmail is fifteen AC, I believe. Sixteen. Sixteen. Sorry, I'm used to I'm used to when it was ten plus, so, so to me it's six, not sixteen. Uh, and then I took uh, 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 I ooh, ooh, that's a good question. I can't remember. Oh, I took archery. Okay, so you um, yeah, you take one bludgeoning damage because he <laughs> rolled a two on his d four. <laughs> From a spore hitting you at high velocity, it just it tries really hard to kick you. Like um, super you angry angry to to He's being kicked with a Nerf football. He's being attacked by a mushroom dog. <laughs> He's being attacked by a mushroom baby. Oh, there you go, committing genocide all over again. So, so like this one's going to the song as well because he's the only one clogging up the doorway, standing next I to a moon druid and a paladin. Yeah, it's like, what the fuck, guys? All right, uh, twelve. Then move out of the way and let trucks. Twelve will miss. <laughs> yeah. Be the change you want to see. All right, uh, but um, this guy is gonna dash. Lana, you're Let starting me. to notice this group of people surrounding Donnegan. I am noticing these people, group of people surrounding Dunnikin. I, uh, I found new friends! No, no, you didn't, honey. No, no. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to have to change. I'm going to, uh, like, going to have to change into a bear and start tanking. Show you, show you whippersnappers how it's done. So who has the torch? Oh, it's on the floor. Okay, cool. <laughs> I put it on the okay. floor. I say this because uh, your 
brown bear, you don't have dark vision. Turn into a cave bear. Cave bear. Cave bear is not is CR two. Yeah, it's a polar bear stat block. Oh, okay. So now I'm a bear, y'all. And I get two attacks. All right, give me some attack rolls, then. It's fungus. All right, so against the fungus, Mary, get out of the way. Transform. Uh, Oh, wait, I'll say, Mary, get out of the way. Trox, tank, You have a You have a bear stat block, a bear character sheet now, the first one. Oni, Faub. Okay, perfect. But I got a 22. Bears have stupid names. Don't blame the bear. Alright, that's a hit. Give me a damage roll. Blame the picnic basket. Hey, boo boo. <laughs> oh man, I want to do a bar right now. No, no, that's a crit because you're attacking the one that's uh, yeah, lit four- up. No, no I thought you were attacking the. Was you were attacking the mushroom guy or the uh, spider? I was attacking the mushroom guy. I told. That's why I said trucks, tank, Mary, get out of the way, children. Okay, so yeah, fourteen <laughs> damage to this mushroom man. Yep. Oh, and I would have had ten to extra slashing damage. Oh well. Um, and uh, the bite has nothing, so I'm gonna do claws again. You know, you get a bite and a claws. You don't get both. Yeah, but it says melee. It says zero. It's it's empty. It's weird. I will fix that. Yeah. So okay. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, I want to say it's D eight. What claws? The damage is the bite. The uh, no, the the. Oh, the bite is. Uh... The Edge. the bite is one D eight plus uh, piercing, and I would get a plus six. Yeah, 1d8 plus 4. You would get a plus... Yeah, you'd get a plus 5. Yeah, okay, let me just edit the, it. The bear is weird. The bear doesn't work like it should. <laughs> You're a brown bear, yes? Yeah, brown one bear! So uh, doesn't have... Okay, claws are 2d6 and bite is 1d8. Yeah, so roll me 1d8 plus uh, 4. No, don't, because you rolled an 11 to attack. Do you have anything yeah. you can confess while you're a bear? Well, I shit in the woods. Does that help? Well, like, you could be confession bear. I guess I look like confession bear? No, wrong bear. You should have been a sloth bear. Sloth bear. We are dumb. Alright, anyway, that's the end of my turn. Alright, this guy is going to move forward and um, give the help action to this guy for attacking Dunnekin. Oh, it helps. Merry so song. I, I hope, hope I don't broke. Oh my god. Did you use your character Seriously? saying this? Just, Just wait, wait a, a ribbit, ribbit and, and I'll, I'll splash. splash. All right. What is splash even supposed to mean there? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so I've lost track of which one of the two spiders is more injured. They're about the same. <laughs> and I haven't been able to be bad at prioritizing targets. Alright, so Close I will uh, attack the glowy one simply because I have a better shot at hitting it now. I was going after the one that was more injured and everyone else wasn't. No, it's okay. Man, that's a hit. fighting over there. It's that still is. up. It is still up. They're both, uh, they're both still up. You guys should have focused on these ones. You haven't killed any of those either. Yeah, you haven't. <laughs> well, there's just one of me. Yeah, you're the you're the one who decided. Hey, look at that thing way off in the distance while my friends are fighting giant spiders. I'm gonna hit that. We're just out there singing and joking, so we figured you had it under control. All right. Um. Can you do anything else? Yeah, I'll drop an inspiration onto. The, uh, That's tank your last one, right? Yeah, I have a tracker. <laughs> All right. The bear. The tank that you are still standing between him and the enemies. I, I told you. I give you this like mom look. He like, has I a told you It has reach. I told. Yeah, you. but they don't. It's not like. 
<laughs> mom look. The bear is right. giving the Charmin blue bear mom look. Uh, so this one right here is going to turn to this new bear. And Steph, I need you to make me a con save at disadvantage as the bear. At disadvantage as the bear? Yep. So the bear has a con bonus as well. You just click con on it. Is that because of the helping? Seven. All right. Uh, Steph, the the cave around you sort of fades um, <laughs> from existence. Oh. And everything is just... Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Oh, this feels like the, the one of my... Hmm. Just everything is happy right now. You've kind of forgotten about... You know, Mary bleeding next to you and Dunnigan being surrounded. Everything's just okay. Yeah, I'm t- I am feel full of memories of, like, my kids being little and still cute instead of the snarky <laughs> adults that never call their mother. <laughs> <laughs> Calling your mom is much more difficult in, in, in this world. Message! There's no phone. Message cantrip! Sending! 100 feet. 100 feet. No, there's, there's, there's a... Sending there's... is longer. Yeah, but or are whatever. Kids, the... Are your kids third level spellcasters? You're not even a third level spellcaster. All right, hey, she's done her career now. I spent uh, the first like hundred and something years of my life la- raising three beautiful children. All right, so this other Mike did has advantage because uh, this guy's helping him. Why did uh, the bear get disadvantage on that save? Yeah, why did he? Uh, this next cave, level. no, this cave is so full of weird spores. Nice. It's making it hard to to make those saves. Your bodies are sort of Ooh, kitten cat. Most of them aren't super harmful, but your bodies are sort of at their capacity, mm. just dealing with all of these. There's no way to breathe in this cave without breathing them in. Wait, wait, wait! wait. Oh, I breathe through my skin. skin. Yeah, you're that. really overwhelmed, but I can't give you more than disadvantage. You're breaking out. Your pores are getting all clogged up. We're gonna have yeah, it's to. Awful. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to do a, like an apricot scrub on you once we get out of here. <laughs> and also, we have baby Heidi Cat on the right. cam. Right, sixteen. That misses, right? <laughs> Ian, that does. Yes. All right, Trox. Same old for me against uh, uh, shiny pants. All right. <laughs> Oh my god. That is a miss. Oh my god. You have inspiration. <laughs> oh, that's right. Did you, I wasn't sure who you gave it to. Yeah, you gave it you. You, you and you and Donnegan both have inspiration right now. Oh, okay. Use mine. Plus what? One you D- have a second one. He gave you another. 1d6. Mm-hmm. Oops. <laughs> no, just <laughs> brackets around 1d6. <laughs> Double brackets. Or that. Yeah, that's oh, not good enough. Man. 11. Oh, yeah. yeah, just blew through an inspiration. All right, Dunnigan. Baby butt. Man. Okay, I'll keep attacking the same one. All right, give me an attack roll. There you go. Nice. Uh, roll damage. So it is. What's that seven plus ten from? Like, what's it's that other he's, detail? Oh, he's the... wielding it oh, two-handed, yeah. and it doesn't so add it his nine. modifiers to it. Nine, which is enough. And this one, you effortlessly glide through its head, like its its neck head region, because it doesn't really have a head. There's, there's no transition. It's just straight. Uh, and you chop its head clean off. No spine to go through. It's really easy. Okay, how high is the ceiling? It's about five feet, five to ten feet, varying in places. Yeah, okay. I'll stay where I'm at. Alright. The spiders going after Mary. You guys shouldn't have attacked the spiders when we were attacking the mushrooms. Actually, is this... This is the one that's on the ground. Oh yeah, this one's going after Mary. Uh, 13? Not enough, I have a 14. Alright. The sprout's going to help top Mykonid against Donakin. This spider sees its opportunity, though. <laughs> and it's going to go for the bear, which is stunned. 
is crawling along the ceiling over Mary to get to the bear, and it sort of drops down a little bit on top of uh, on top of Lana. If the ceiling's like five feet. Wouldn't it be like right five to ten, point? varying throughout the cavern? That's a big range. Well, I'm not going to go through every Heidi, what are you square. Snapping? That should be like Dwarf Fortress with like a plus or a minus for the height of like the, the water that we can use for the, the ceiling. Anyway, I'm going to try and bite Lana. 23 well, to hit? Yeah, that hits like fuck. You take four damage. Alright. That's uh, a bear. Use the third, use, yeah, use the third uh, bubble to keep track of your animal health. There's, there's a third bubble? There's a red bubble. Where? I mean, where? It's to the left of the green Ooh. bubble. Or that one. Bubble. You have red, green, and blue when you click on your token. Oh, okay. So I'm at like... Yeah. The... Alright. My this cat stuff. is currently forcing itself between my keyboard and my monitor, and it's just, just gonna sit there in like the tiniest spot fucking imaginable. <laughs> How is this comfortable? It isn't. It is not comfortable. I'll, I'll move my thing. This isn't comfortable, Heidi. I don't know why you think it's comfortable. It ain't. There you go. Not about this little guy is going to attack Lana. Zebulon, go back to bed, sweetie. Alright, you take three bludgeoning damage. Yay. Bloop. That's max damage. <laughs> That's a minus one. <laughs> All right, Lana Cephas, um, you are stunned. You can give me a con save at the end of your turn. Uh, again, which I guess is now. Yeah, which is now, because you, you can't do anything. Yeah, give me a con save. Nine, that is not enough. Oh, Just, come on. Uh, All right. First person who's been hit by this. I'm just okay. having, I'm like, you know, like a dog, and I'm just going like, you know, having happy dreams with my feet. Help action against Dunnigan for this guy. Merry song. Disengage, move up to here. Oh, this guy is End my turn. Here-ish now. Oh, wait. Well, in that case, then I'm not staying there. I'll, I'll... He's, like, on the ceiling attacking. I'll back up to here. Yeah. Attacking Lana. Oh, oh the spiders are giant. giant. Yeah. Oh, you, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't think that we would Jeez! This is the this first, is the I've, first seen I've seen one, one and nobody said, said that they were that big. You and yet when I said giant fucking spiders... My feet is a giant spider. spider. This, this is, is a spider. humongoid spider. <laughs> Alright, are you doing anything else? I disengaged and moved. I'm not gonna... Yeah, I, I, I only have action. one spell that's a bonus action. I think I only have one spell slot left. Alright, um, these two adults are both going to attack Donnegan at advantage because they've both received the help action. Ribbit. Uh, 20? 20. Uh, yes. Right, you take four bludgeoning damage and three poison damage. Ouch. Four, four bludgeoning, three poison. Do you I take the be poison resistant? because I'm resistant? Are you resistant He's to poison? immune to poison, I'm pretty sure. Poison immunity, yeah. Okay, you don't take the poison damage, then. So, three right. set. So, you're four bludgeoning. And also, uh, I yeah, did not do this on purpose, but I just realized I have created a battle toad. <laughs> <laughs> you're he not a toad, get, you're a frog. He should Damn get, uh, You grew up in the water. Uh, um, inspiration. No, he does not get his rage. <laughs> no, can I, can I have a re-roll to actually set him up like a grappling battle toad? I thought you were going to do that anyway. I think he is. It was just basically, oh wait, there's no way for me to get a uh, uh, improvised weapon. That's what would make him, uh, that what would make him a battle toad. No, I mean not until a third level or fourth level. Look at that, I rolled a 19 against the glow one. Unless the glowy one is not... No, he's still glowing. Oh, actually... Staff, give me two con saves. Why do I get two? These are not you've been attacked twice. These are not disadvantage. These are okay. your these are your uh, spell save. Your well, that uh, one's good. That one's good. Okay. Yeah. Yahoo! 
Even when I'm napping, I'm still concentrating. That's what happens when you're a mom. You're not <laughs> napping. <laughs> you're high. <laughs> oh, I and that's why I have three children. All right. Yeah. So nineteen. Give me a damage roll, uh, right. Mr. Glowy. Yeah. And sink your glaive straight into its head. Actually, pop it off of the thorax. No, oh, it's a spider. Pop it off the abdomen. Yeah. Excellent. And it falls to the ground off your uh, off your blade. Excellent. Finally, did something with his glaive. All right. Anything else? Nope. All right, Dunnikin. Oh, okay, okay, so, so wait, wait, is this, this one, one to my left, left not dead? dead? I thought I killed it. No, it's still alive. I thought wait, I chopped its head off. You did. I forgot about that. I didn't delete it. That's my bad. So I will go for uh, the one above me. Alright, give me an attack roll. Wah, wah, wah. Man, man, we've been rolling. <laughs> Crazy. I've never seen so many critical. Yeah, you guys have rolled a lot of ones. <laughs> One is the loneliest number in the song Lauren picked. Okay, you take no damage. Even if it hit, you would take no damage because it rolled a one on its D4. Um, what's that? That's just one minus one because it has a negative strength mod. Oh no, I was attacked. Sorry, I didn't. Hear that. You were attacked, but it missed. It sort of it tried to to kick at you with its front feet, and it just managed to kick some dust off the ground, and that's it. This one is going to go for Lana. Oh no! All right, you take. You take a critical hit, you take 9 plus 3 piercing damage, you take 12 piercing damage. Ooh, my, thank god I'm in this four. <laughs> so 9 damage, so 7. its fangs just sink into your hide. Oh yep. You take 12 total piercing damage. I feel like someone should have told me that they were giant spiders. We said, oh look, over there, and they were like, oh, what's this thing? You walked past the things with blind sight. It was not a good idea. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Is... they're supposed to only have blind sight when on the webs. Not these ones. Alright, this one's gonna attack Lana. Little guy. Uh, does a 12 hit? Lana, for Lana? For the bear. You have Let me double bear check. AC. How did I get into Annihilation? Yeah, it's like 11 or 12, or maybe 13 at the most. 11. Yeah, so you take one bludgeoning damage. <laughs> These things are so cute. So how much uh, did I take? You take one bludgeoning damage, give me oh. a, uh, and give me a con save, because you Oh turn. god. The bear's con? Yeah. Yeah, the bear's yeah. con. And do you succeed? You whoop, snap whoop. out of this weird spore-induced trance. <laughs> what? Uh, you've what? Got, oh. You're not quite sure where these giant fang holes on your your bear form came from, but you have them now. All right, I'm going to. Oh, and it's that's, my turn. Oh, the it's end the end of my turn. I'm pissed. Yeah, the end. I'm pissed. But it's the end of my turn. So go ahead. This guy is going to attack Donakin. Misses. Merry song. They have All to right. almost crit to hit Donakin, by the way, because they have like a yeah. plus one mod. That's presumably why he's still alive. All right. So. A CR zero. Um, where is it here? Do you not have Vicious Mockery? No. No, I don't. <laughs> I have Mage Hand and Message. So instead, we're going to do something else.
<laughs> so, who's doing the measuring there? That would be me. So, 20 feet would get the spider. So, it's a 20 foot radius circle, so everyone in it. Using your last spell slot? I'm using my last spell slot. Andy, you were asking how I'm still alive? Uh, okay. Look in uh, Discord. 29, so this guy is asleep. Yep. Because I don't have any condition immunity, sorry. Right. <laughs> this guy is asleep. All of the Mykonids are asleep. That's 21. <laughs> how can we tell? Okay, so you have put uh, all of the Mykonids to sleep. Yeah. That, that, I, I feel okay with that. Yeah. Worked pretty well. Actually, hang on. Wait. Yeah, you put all the Mykonids to sleep. What's the one for? What's to pick one or the other? No, it's in Discord. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I get it. That means one of the mic kids <laughs> had exactly that? the same uh, hit points as the spider. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Well, post guys, it so in you the don't chat. get a saving throw, right? You have to be woken up. Uh, I think you post it in the correct. chat. You have to be woken up. I did. It's in the Discord chat. Wow. No, no, no. I mean, the, like the Roll20 chat. You post it because you know how to do the. Okay, the I will. Actually, no, because it's not it a up. gift. I can't. Oh, wait. I am. I can't. Uh, yeah, you're just unconscious well, until the spell ends. Yeah. Or you take yep. damage. Yep, and I don't believe it's concentration either. Sleep is not concentration. And oh. Oh, here, what is it? Oh, no, that just casts it again. It is uh, duration of a minute. So okay. they're not. They, they, Effectively, they're not going to wake up this combat unless something wakes them up. Dunnikin. Yes, but Dunnikin's going to slash into them with advantage because they're prone. Is there, there no, no more coup, coup, coup de gras? They're, they're prone and no, unconscious. There's not, but there is advantage because you're standing next to something and critting because they're unconscious. And I want yeah. de Grassi. So explain to me their. Um. Dunnikin's role where he had the. In the 24, where did that stand? pen come from? You're saying it was a two handed thing, but you don't get an extra, it's not two. You get two you get more damage, they're dice. yeah. They're versatile, so you if you are wielding long swords or uh the axe or the hammer, uh, two handed, they yeah. deal a d10 instead of a d8, like pole because you're wielding it two right, right, right. Pole staffs or whatever they're called, um, quarter Just, staff do uh, that too. Yeah. But those two rolls also don't include the other modifiers, but then you don't include those when you do a critical. Yeah, it's like weird. It, it it, yeah, they, they should have they should have the modifier on them, but they don't because Okay, all right. That's that's why I was confused. It's the, it's right. the default setup. Yeah. Okay. So uh let me get back to my glaive on the spider. Hey, that's, that's a, hit. a hit. Give me a damage. Hey, does this spider look? How damaged does this spider this look? This spider looks pretty hurt. Okay, so I'm not going to bother doing divine keep, smite. Keep, keep in mind, the spider or one of the mycondids was going to be the one that fell asleep. Right, that's pretty low. <laughs> um, okay, I'll just do damage on this one. That is not enough. <laughs> so, when can you do divine smite? When can you I have do spell it? slots? <laughs> oh sure, yeah. You can I have do it now. Okay, all right. So that's um two d eight for with one level spell slot. Um, do two d eight. Holy, and that's enough. <laughs> and you just it divine energy. Radiates from your uh, your glaive and just blasts this thing apart, Excellent. coating Lana and you with gross <clears throat> spider <throat> bits and bits of fungus. Not pleasant, especially since it's radiant energy. You cooked it a little bit. It's a holy radiator. Ignoring that, Dunnikin, your turn. Surrounded by sleeping mycanids. 
Uh, Cup de Grassi, the one in and front of And we're actually just gonna... They're all dead, because... Cup is there anything anybody wants to do with them? They're... They're... You know... You're gonna crit them and kill them. Well, there was that video of the bears in Russia getting high off of aviation fuel, so I assume... The bear's gonna wanna go and hop some mushroom. No, no, it's not... Are you? Is anybody doing anything with them? Like, did anyone no, do something no. special? One hundred and fifty-eight year, one hundred fifty-nine years ago. Uh -huh. Nope. All right. All right. I took out like ten people by myself. I'm sure a lot of help. <laughs> uh, I right, did. What are you doing next? You've defeated uh -huh. two encounters at once. Very impressive. Yeah. Oh, can we take a five-minute break? We can. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna run to the. It would have been a five minute break much earlier, but somebody brought a second encounter in. <laughs> yeah, guys, why'd you attack the spider? Like, come on. Get your shit together. We gotta work as a team. Dunnikin did not end that second encounter. I fucking ended that second encounter. It's pretty good. Yeah, you finally got behind the tank. <laughs> the tank's the one who pulled out of the choke point, leaving me in melee fair, range of these he things. He was at, like, three health. Never, Never pull out, out tank. Never, Never pull, pull out. out. And with that, I think we should go to be right back. back. Yes, sir! Oh, oh there's spider webs and everything. everything. I didn't see that when I walked by. Because you don't have dark vision. Nope. nope. And you I, should I, not I be leading the party unless the person immediately one square behind you is wielding a torch. No, you know those uh, gifts where the military dog is walking between the guy with the gun's legs? I do that with you guys. But also, but also probably, probably yes, yes, because, because the, uh, you don't wear a flash, you don't flash, a flashlight to make, to make um, alligators, eyes, alligators shine. eyes shine. That works for, that works frogs, for frogs, too. Interesting to know. We used to do that a lot. We used to go out and alligator shine. Why? Oh, just to see them? Yeah. You know, my parents used to do that, but with deer. Just, you know, see them. We, we do that with deer, but when we're driving. driving. Yeah, my dad would just drive us around for hours and we'd do that. Oh no, we get to see them when they're on, like, the road. Like, they come right out in front of your car. Generally when you're moving. Yeah, that happened to me too, once. You get to see a good close-up. Oh, no, 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 I have the ultimate story for that, which isn't anything mine. Uh, my roommate was in... I don't know which state it was now. But she was with her mother and they were driving along and they were next to a big semi truck and deer jumps out of the forest, gets hit by the semi truck and literally disintegrates and splatters over everything. And so like two miles down the road, they pull off and start pulling chunks of deer out of the, the grill of their truck Ooh. and everything. State police officer comes by. Apparently he was behind them when it happened. So he doesn't bat an eyelash. He's like, yeah, you probably best to get that cleaned up before someone else saw it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, did they take the car? Uh, yes, the carcass was destroyed. One of my coworkers, I have two coworker stories. One of my coworkers hit a deer, or was going to hit a deer, and dodged out of the way. And because he didn't hit the deer, and he crashed into a something, he crashed into, I think he went into a ditch or something. He got a ticket for it, because apparently you're not supposed to try and avoid it. Oh, wow. Because that can cause worse accidents. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, no, you, you become, instead of, hitting the deer is, is, you know, an accident, yes. Avoiding the deer and causing another problem is reckless driving. Um, and then another coworker, group of coworkers actually were hanging out after work, and they, someone hit a deer and drove off, and the deer was, like, suffering on the side of the road, and there were oh two cops. God. There were two cops, and neither of them would, you know, mercy kill the deer. And the one who invent the coworker who eventually had to do it was given an axe by a cop, and he's like, uh, <laughs> ah! he's on parole at the time. Really? It, Working like, in? I oh god! 
I, I, I would I would get a, a written statement from the cop saying I was forced to wield this weapon by the officer. I, I would t- say to the cop, "Hi, I'm on probation. I'm not supposed to have you know weapons. You're making me use a weapon." There were other guys there who probably should have done it. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things of uh, if you're forcing me to do this, you're telling me to break the law, and thus you're not going to I arrest mean, an me. Axe or... An axe. An axe. Axes are illegal. They are completely legal, but it seems inefficient. It's what they had. You can't fire a gun in a neighborhood. I'm sure. I'm sure the one of them had a gun in his truck, but you can't just fire a, a gun in the neighborhood. That's why you need crossbows. Hmm. I will grab a soda real quick. I'll be right back. And then yep. we'll start again. I will get my idea because it is uh, Valentine's Day, y'all. Yep. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Are your fish still fucking alive in there? Yep, be careful. Okay. Cool. No, I don't like it. Lyndon was right. Alright, we're back. I'd be upset if I didn't have Or I'm back. Are we back? <laughs> we are switch. <laughs> you had a, uh, still had an arm's length. We are still, we'll be right back on Twitch. How about non salt water? Or fresh water? Curse you, ABC, and your damn memorable we'll be right back commercial moments. Okay, I'm back. All right. Uh, Steph back? No. So, how's everyone's Valentine's Day? Well, I'm not working tonight, so that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good for Valentine's Day. I mean, if you're taking your, your date out to Panda Express for Valentine's Day, no. Why would you do that? Uh, besides her and I, ironic reasons? Maybe it's like your first date location, but other than that, I don't know. Who, who in their right mind would schedule a first date on tonight? Like, no, I mean, like, that's that, why you would that, go that, back. Yes, well, it's literally, well, yeah, okay, if you're trying to be ironic in a anniversary-type sense, then yeah, that would that would be interesting. But other than that, no, I can't think of any really, I don't know, don't people fucking like, like, some kind of chicken that's sweet there or something? Like sugar chicken or something? Sugar chicken? I don't know. It's some meme I saw on Reddit once. I've never actually been even. I don't think within a hundred feet of a Panda Express. We we don't have sugar chicken. We have we have sweet fire chicken with pineapple, which smells great, but I can't eat it because it's fried. Well, it's got pineapple. Yeah. It's like pineapple and peppers and onions. And Wait, you can't eat fried chicken. stuff. I can't eat fried stuff. Huh. It's already said it's disgusting. We've had this discussion. <laughs> um, you can't eat fried stuff? stuff? No, I can't. It's bad. It sucks. Once I can eat fried food again and cheese again, my first, my first dude. Was I, was just, <laughs> I was just, I just being a jackass. I know. Dude just, just said we had just had allergies. But I like saying that as soon as I can, I'm going to eat fried cheese because I can't eat cheese and I can't eat fried stuff right now. And they're two things that I love the most. 
Look fried food wise. Ooh, Ooh, that's so good. Mozzarella sticks, man. Fried uh, cheese raviolis. Ooh, I need that. You uh, robot it there. Oh, sorry. I, I don't think I was part of that discussion. I was curious if it was an allergy. Huh. I must still be bad bandwidth. No, no I heard you. Can hear you. Oh, You're just I, being, I, uh, Snoopy. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's, it's not allergy, it's uh, diet. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. You want to take us off? Uh, be right back, Steph. <laughs> she just walked away. Oh, she did. God damn! I thought she just got back. <laughs> she just walked away. She's yelling Ooh. something. She's yelling something at me, but I can't hear because I have headphones on. Tell her I said boo. 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 No, you have to say Brendan says boo. This, this is echoed, echoed by, by Brendan. Brendan. Boo! Boo! Oh, well, Brendan's like, what the fuck's going on? We've disturbed the, the monster. So, Kingdom Come, eh? That game looks really good. You know what other game looks good? Dark Souls. Dark Souls. I installed it. Oh, cool. We're playing after this. If you're not going to sleep. I will probably be going to sleep. Oh. But I did install it. Now I have to do the mod thing. I got it installed, and then I'm like, oh, but he said there's mods. And then I got... Yeah, there's important mods. There's DS Fix, which will fix the resolution. And there's DSC Fix, which makes it easier to connect to friends. Yeah, and there's well, a thanks Obama mod that changes the text of you died from you died to thanks Obama. Obama does do that a lot. Die? No, <laughs> cause me to die. With, With his health care and such. Yeah, you know, it's it's such a complication th with Obamacare being... You're not nearly old enough to be put against a death panel. Yes, uh, uh, I mean, in Canada, every time you go to the doctors, you have to sit in front of the death panel just to get to the door. Yeah. Little known fact, Trump was right about that one. I had an argument with my dad about it the other day. I'm like, literally, I speak with Canadians all the time, and they say their health care is, like, amazing compared to ours. Yeah, just say they get pissed uh, off, they have to wait in line. We're, we're, we're in the, that, that's the thing is yeah. there's still people who believe that there's oh, people yeah. who believe you have like five or six hour emergency room waits. We do. No, they're more like four hours at the time. They're more well, like four hour. They're, but they're to be six fair, hours if you're not really if it's not, not an emergency. emergency. Yeah, it, it depends. It depends yeah, on how like, injured you are. Like if you if you are you know going to bleed out, they rush you right in and start treating you. Right. To treat if us. if you come in with a broken arm and there's someone like that. You're going to wait until they're done because your broken arm isn't as serious as, oh my God, they're going to bleed out. Like, I, the longest I sat in an emergency room was six hours. And it was, I was like, whatever the bar is below having an asthma attack. So they just monitored me in the waiting room. I mean, that's the worst I've ever gotten from our healthcare system. Yeah, the problem is our, our healthcare system is good. Our healthcare practitioners are all retiring, and the ones that are replacing them, they're not I'm, as great. Oh, man, that's where I, I, I get your feeling and I get your sentiment. We just must have had the greatest luck because we ended up having two young, smart, amazing doctors in the course of like six months. Oh, let me guess. They got their schooling outside of Canada. Nope, as far as I well, I don't know. I really can't say. I, um, this way, I, I say this when my cousin has just finished, uh, well, not, she's just left med school for her internship and she's doing it at Sick Kids. That's and, awesome. Sick Kids yeah. is amazing. Well, she's doing it in, she wants to be a 
neurologist. Not a neurosurgeon, but a neurologist. Well, that's who I saw, like, all growing up when I was going to see kids for my, uh, my myotonia. So that's awesome. So whenever I was a freaking um, uh, guinea pig where they bring in the, the groups of interns, that she would have been one of them. Well, not, I mean, literally, but at the time. Currently, her position is the same as that, yes. However, right now, she's not at SickKids for that because she's doing her rounds in a different department, which, because SickKids is SickKids, she had to go to Sunnybrook, I think? Could be. Oh, God, this is the best prequel meme ever. The what now? This is the best prequel meme ever. I feel like nobody reacting to my awesome character meme is making no. me feel bad. All right, are we ready to start? Yes. All right, uh, I guess take us off of... There we go. And we're back. All right, what do you guys do now? You guys have just defeated a bunch of myconids and giant spore spiders. Well, listen, I'd like to look around a little bit more, even though we are just killing spores. Open up your faceplate. Right, paths extend to the south, uh, filled with these wrecked, um, previously useful webs. Previously useful to whom? Spiders. Okay. So I'm moving around down here, investigating, assuming that... Well, I'll make sure nothing comes up behind us. Uh, Steph, you want to go in and help him with the spider webs? Yes, one Steph sec. Steph can't speak. No, but <laughs> we can speak to her. <laughs> oh, are those bodies down there, or is that just the... I'll go, hmm, hmm. No, those are bodies. Mm, mm. Oh. Okay. Hey, let's look for this uh, missing ring on these bodies. Oh, if we're all going in, I'll jump on uh, Steph's back and look behind us. Sure. Grab your torch on the way down. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Trox, Trox is the going torch to... is still attached to Lana because I'm lazy. Hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity. I'll give them a smell. They're human, I presume. They are not. None of these bodies are human. If you like, are you guys like cutting open the webbing? Yeah. 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 All right. These are drow. Oh. That's it. Uh oh. So, oh, so it's like a drow day spa because they love spiders and shit, right? Oh, so it's fuck. like a mud wrap, but but for drow. So, this is a big deal, by the way. Um, yeah. You guys know what drow are. None of you have seen one because there's one entrance to the Underdark in the entire uh, country. Yeah. And it is monitored all the time. And the only reason it's not been collapsed and sealed off is because it's just too massive. Yeah, with, Lana, uh, Lana's yeah. freaking out because the drow were minions of Shigorn, which was the evil lich. Yes, they were. For, for Throne Silla, who is watching at home, was What's the evil guy? lich we defeated. As one of our, uh, when we were playing through one of our prequel campaigns for this. Interesting. So, um... Or she's freaking out in bear form be, anyway. So I don't want to be too macabre, um, but I... Are the drow... I'm kind of interested in seeing what the... what At least one of these bodies was wearing. Was it armor? Was it... Yeah, uh, you pick uh, a random body. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I want to look into the nearest one and see if there's any useful goods... Yeah, All right. give us some clue about what they were. So up. the nearest one is a female drow wearing uh, studded leather armor, long since ruined. Yeah. Um, two daggers. Uh, Any... Of good make, but not yeah. you know, of note. Well, if that's the case, maybe we should examine them all. I'm also kind of, I mean, it's not that I'm necessarily after the gold coin, but it, things like that might give us some clues about where they're from or, you know. So, I'm inclined to uh, look at the other bodies. Alright, so on the bodies, you don't find any gold. Okay. Um, you do find Electrum. Interesting. You found you find, between all the bodies, probably 30 Electrum coins. Interesting. That's 300 gold? Or 30 gold? No, it's like half a, or like they're like Two gold. They're half gold. They're half a gold. So yeah. that's thirty gold. 
But more interestingly, Electrum is pretty unusual a currency, isn't it? Yeah, nobody on the surface uses this as coinage. Yeah. Okay. But also, I mean, we presumably want to tell someone about this, and and we might be we might meet with some disbelieving people. <laughs> so if you were to bring a drow body out, yeah, you would be believed. I will right. motion with my big pair, Paul, just to put it on my back. I don't care. All right, but we can we can examine the rest of the uh, cave. They're by the door. We can get them on the way out. Yeah. Yeah, let's examine the rest of the cave. Or as they say in the movies, come on, let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, All Lana's right. super freaking out about this. She remembers the time of Shigorn, and it was not fun at all. But there was that handsome guy. Uh, so unless... Yeah, and Shala was, like, really good looking. <laughs> oh, no, not that I will eat you guy. up, by the way, Ian. Don't worry. Since you can't see now. If, if someone... You're in the dynamic lighting. Lighting. All right. Someone's uncomfortable with the rate at which I am examining the rest of the cave. Tell me, I'm kidding. And again, it, it branches here. Um, there's a branch yeah. off to the west. I'm waiting uh, to see where I'm going to shoot to. Hey, you want to go? Uh, uh, you, uh, searching the mic hard anyway. Did we find anything? No, none of them had anything on them. Um. Looks like that might be, might be pinched off down there. I don't know. Why don't you go rustle up whatever's down there, Duncan? Because uh, I need a torch. Can you give me the torch, Brendan? Yes. Right. Uh, remember I was just going down there. Oh, can I, just... I, can I sniff each one of these entrances and see if I smell human down any one of these thoroughfares? Thoroughfares. <laughs> mm. These are fungus thoroughfares. <clears throat> Seventeen Guys, fungus a, can march abreast. Th Looks there's a thing over here, a passageway. Yeah. What does my nose smell? We ready? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's something back here. Back here. There's no footprints going in this direction. Okay. okay. Wait, where is... Where were you standing? Uh, yeah, there is a path going that way. Um... I, I looked down the path, path, but then I'm going to rush back. No, you just went into more spider area, I believe. Okay. Yeah, there's just more spider area there. Do we want to go down this way where Trox is? Do we want to stealth down this way? Yeah, it is more spider. Okay. Uh, I, I say this because... <laughs> I'm a bear. I'm, I'm always right stealth. Like... We haven't done any stealthing yet this time, so... Here there, I stealth. stealth. All right. oh, uh, Ian, oh. you're at disadvantage. You have 10, 25... 16. All right. Nine. Okay, you guys believe you're sufficiently stealthy. Well, I'm a bear, so... Well, and bears whenever live we in roll caves. characters that. Please, I'm as stealthy as I can be. All right. I'm caught up. You guys sneak down this passage. Um, everybody, stop. Okay. okay. Everybody roll me a perception check. All right. Oh, I'm doing it as a bear. All right, Lorne and Ian are surprised. Oh! Um, <laughs> some of the mushrooms on the walls, some of the bigger mushrooms, what? begin to move and shuffle after you guys as you walk through and swing at you with these weird tentacle appendages. Oh, and there's only initiative. There's your yeah, morals. Yeah, yeah. Pseudopods. Pseudopods. Oh, fuck. I forgot to... Hang on. Okay. Our mycology would love this adventure. <laughs> Got to roll, or give them health. They all crumble over and die. No. <laughs> Man, I'm okay I with that. Right. Bad. Bad for an issue of tonight. Make sure you roll bear initiative. I did. And trucks never. Hey, Mary, you are surprised. Because I'm a bear. Rawr. 
I'm a bear, bitch. This one is going to move. Trox. Mary Song goes first, doesn't she? Oh, where was she? No, she was surprised. I was yep. surprised. And I'm a he. Oh, right. Sorry. Like Mary and Mary and the other one. Mary, Mary, and Mary. Mary Adok. Sorry. Who's doing it? <laughs> My glaive against that one. Wait, can I make an attack roll? If that's too far, I'll go against the other one. Okay. That was, Give me a damage roll. That was my attack. Oh, uh, don't, don't worry. worry. You Give me a damage it. roll. You glaive at everything you could. Um, Good night, everybody. For a critical fail, am I rolling with advantage? Oh, you rolled a crit fail. You didn't just roll a five. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, yeah. That's Trox. Okay. Off to a good start. All right. This has advantage against Donnegan. A four? Damn, I can't believe we rolled another. Okay, it only rolled one that was good enough to hit. You take eight necrotic damage. Owie, owie, owie. It rolled so many fives. It rolled two rolls that were exclusively threes. It was only the only roll it rolled. I'm almost Man. dead. Oh, I, got that. I, got I got nine hit points. points. You got more than me. All right, Lana. We didn't even take a chance to heal ourselves, and we got oh well. This wasn't well, the deadly encounter you were talking about, was it? No. No. These. This was a normal encounter That's with the things that disagreed with their challenge rating. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Derp, 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 derp. I'm hitting the one in front of me because I'm a bear. All right, give me, give me some attack rolls. Let me fix your one. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna go with claws first. Woohoo! Eleven slashing. I go rawr. <laughs> Uh, okay. And it's what, a 1d6? D8? Yep. 1d8 plus 4. I fixed plus it. Plus 4, yeah. Oh, you fixed it already? Awesome. Right, so that's a hit. Then I'm gonna bite it. That's ah! also a hit. Yeah! 20 damage! Woohoo! Alright, that one's gone. I sort of toss it around in the air like, you know, terriers do, where they go like, rrr, 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 and they should kind of shake their head back and forth <laughs> when they get a toy. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and that is the end of my turn. Alright. This guy is going to move five feet forward and attack Trox. He's going to make three attacks. Is that what that three means? Yep. Thanks. Thanks for the three. Uh, 118. All right, that hits. Uh, eight necrotic damage. Ouch. As the uh, the spores that are on this one sort of rub off on your exposed flesh. And it starts to sort of melt a little bit. Nice. It's not a pleasant thing to look at. Okay. I'll try to avoid looking at it. All right, Donnegan, you are no longer surprised. Okay. Oh, good. Thank God. This that thing was... with its negative three initiative. It still rolled better than me. No, you just were surprised, so you couldn't do anything. Uh, attack it? No, you couldn't do anything because you were surprised. No, but I attack it now, right? It's not your turn yet. Your, your turn. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, so... you, that was a surprise round still. This is the last thing on the surprise round. It rolled a negative three on its initiative. Good for it. I've never seen a negative three for initiative. You have now. And that's a miss. It got a five. All right, Lord. All right. Uh, I'm going to use my rape here on that one right next to me because that's really bad. Oh, I did pick up my dagger, didn't I? 
Yeah, we're going to assume you did. I'm never going to assume you didn't pick up your dagger. Hmm. We're, I don't really care about keeping track of ammo or things like that. All right. Rapier, 20 dam or 26 damage. All right, you hit it. That's my turn. All right. Stabby That's stab it. Turn. This one's going to move forward and attack Lana. It can try. Bring it. Four attacks. Jeez. Okay, so you take a total between three attacks of three, six is nine. You take 12 necrotic damage to your bear form. Okay, I'm down to three hit points. Can someone give a bear a healing word here? You can actually heal yourself with your spell slots while you're in bear form. <gasps> okay, I know As a what bonus I'm action, you can heal by, I think, 1d8 per spell level. But at this point, it'd almost be better to drop out of bear form and then turn back into bear form. Yeah. We'll just wait for those last three hit points to go away. And then next turn. But anyway, Trox. Trox. Um. As long as you don't roll a one, you will hit. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. How um, many wild shapes do I get a day? You get two per two. short rest. Oh, okay. Glaive against, Meh. Glaive against the one to my right. Alright, that hits. Seven slashing. Anything else? Um, I don't think I have any bonus actions. Right, me. This one is targeting Mary Song. Critical hit. You take four necrotic damage. <clears throat> Okay. Lotta. I'm going to hit him. Going to hit him in the morning. Going to hit him in the evening. All over I'd this claws. land. I'd claw him in the morning. That's a hit. Whee! Attack seven. <laughs> Their AC is five. Doesn't matter. So literally, any that attack doesn't. we any attack roll we roll, except a one, except a one. Okay, in this in this one, you know, when I kill him, when I kill him, I'm going to like sort of gnaw on it and then like kick it with my back feet like a cat. Steph, I'll, I'll give him the coffee. coffee. You, you give, give him the bear, bear claw. claw. Oh yeah. Bear Claw is, is a pastry. You guys are joking. Your, your teammate is... is... sort of surrounded. Yeah, yeah that, that was, uh, that was like, like 10 minutes ago. Did I uh, miss something? Oh, I can still move, right? I can still move? You can still move. Uh, you can't really get anywhere useful. Cause Mama Bear's coming to the rescue, honey! And I'm literally a bear. I have three hit points. Oh, I can move there! I can move there! Okay. And I'll give him, a, like, an intimidating glance, even though it's a mushroom and I don't think it'll work. It's like, get away from my baby. No, it doesn't really, it's not, it's not at that level. Okay, okay. Also, back up! <laughs> he, there, oh, he, there's one square he could run to. Alright, this one right. is attacking Trox four times. Ooh. For a total of seven necrotic damage. Alright. I'm down to two. Still there? Dunnigan. Alrighty. So, uh, are these stuck to like the floor or the ceiling? Uh, they're not stuck. They're, they've got very tiny little little ambulatory legs that are sort of hidden, but they're on the floor. Oh my god, they got little mushroom feet? Yes, they do. Oh my god! 
I think we know what we're selling. We should save a couple while we'll breed them as some sort of pet. They try to kill you if you get too close. Some people people are into that. You've never owned a cat. But several. That's a hit. Give me a damage roll. Jesus, that's a hit. <laughs> yeah, they have five AC. I thought his crit fail was a damage roll until we pointed out it was a crit fail. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Minus three! Alright, three attacks coming at Trox. Jeez. I super miss my plus going down. AC. Or two, uh... Okay. None of them hit. Initiative. All right. Nine, four, and eleven. <laughs> they have a plus two mod. Or plus two to their attack roll. Alright. They can do a lot of damage, but they have to roll right. All right, Mary Song. Have at thee. At least I rolled high on the damage. And that's enough. You stab it straight through, find something vital, and stop moving. Oh, please. It's a stab and then wiggle to make the hole bigger. Mm -hmm. All right, now what? Uh, I'm going to stay where I am, because I'm very, very squishy at the moment. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to uh, back <laughs> up a bit. Oh, I have no spells. I used my last one on the sleep. All right. At least I think I did. You did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. So yeah, I moved back a step and end my turn. All right, Trox. Trox is going to have to heal himself. Um, let's see. Your wounds, excuse me, no, it's 1d8. Now I'm gonna. But not nearly as good as going. Something which sounds a little bit inappropriate, and that is laying hands on myself. For. Dude, we're broadcasting this on Twitch. You can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and Anyone right, who's watching would him. know what it's from, so they would know that it's a paladin ability to. Like healing hands and yes. heal someone. Why won't someone lay hands on me? Stop <laughs> up. Uh, no, are these things each getting like four attacks on me, Brendan? They are getting a random number of attacks between one and four. And do they get that many? Oh, so if I if I pull out, they'd each get one as an opportunity attack? That's correct. All right, I'm doing that. Squishy compatriots or not. Okay, you rolled. Attack roll. 16? Nope. Alright, neither of them hit. Good. <clears throat> Alright, Steph. Alright, I'm gonna charge through and start attacking. Alright. There yeah, we go. There. That works. Uh, whichever one looks the most hurt. That one does. I hit the one. On attack yeah. roll. That's a hit. Is it dead? It is. Alright, I'm gonna attack the other one. You stay away from my babies! That is also a hit. <laughs> is it also dead? It is not also dead. I will give it an intimidating death glare. And that's the end of my turn. Alright. It does not comprehend that because it literally doesn't have sight. It exclusively has blind sight. Uh, and it will attack you. One time. Okay. Nice. I get Please the four hit. attacks. Please don't hit. Uh, ten misses. Yup. Anakin. Uh, move over here and attack that one. That is a hit. It is not a kill, but it is a hit. Slicey, slicey. And that's it. Right, very song. All right. Um, song? There's one left. And does it look like it might be close to... It looks pretty hurt. All right. Um, well, we're going to move to there then and attack it. 
Because no one lived forever without taking some risks. Oh, that's how people get killed, honey. Yeah, but I dealt right. four damage. That is a kill. All right. Nasty. Dab it. Just stops moving as you jiggle the handle. <laughs> you just gotta wiggle it, don't stop. <laughs> Piff it. And this new part of the Iconid Lair seems a little bit safer. Um, all right. So Yay! I'm gonna move back where I have better vision over here. Uh, and, and I will turn around to everyone and go, should we take a short rest? Yeah. Sure. Oh, sure. All right. Uh, I believe Steph can actually use her hit die for the... Hang on. Let me look this up. Uh, it only would last for yeah, maybe it'll, half it, hour. Yeah. It, hour. Uh, yeah. One, it would uh, be gone. It? it would be gone. So I will just... Yeah. So, well, you'll get your form back. Yeah, I'll get, get my form. Because it's a short rest. Yeah, I'll get my regular... Yeah. So... Yeah, you guys are hurt. <laughs> yeah. All right, so put Duncan, me down. You have I... second wind. You remember that, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, we're going to not need to be nearly that low the entire time. We're taking a short rest, right? <laughs> Don't forget, I have Song of Rest, so everyone gets an extra D6 if they spend a hit die. Like a D6. So D6. that is actually... D9. Yeah, that's enough to get me up to max. <laughs> That actually equals my max. D10. Plus three plus one. D6? One D6, yes. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. And Ian is no longer inspired because it's been more than 10 minutes. Uh, can you shrink me back down to my regular form? Because it'll be gone. Five. Lauren, thank you. Sorry, well, I can't do it. Or not, no, you Lauren. Can't do yeah. either, can you? No, you can't. No, you can't. Right. Oh, that brings me exactly up to my max too. So your your short rest passes uneventfully. Excellent. Let's uh, finish looking at this cave. Yeah, we... let's let's take a look for where are our uh, where are their uh, tracks and stuff. There are no tracks over here. The tracks are to the north. Okay, so over sorry, here up here. No, you guys just went away from the tracks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's just check down yeah, here well, then. Yeah, so we we'll found. Um... Hey, this is a dead end. Uh, don't find anything over here. Should um, I do another stealth roll? Uh, if you'd like to be stealthy, yes. Stealth! Alright. Alright, so Trox got a 17, 18. We, th we think that there's an entrance down to the Underdark. That's the thought that... Uh... Yeah, that would be that would be the general thought, is Drow should not be here. You know, yeah. 10. So can I search for uh, secret passages down here at the end? You can. Give me a perception check. All right. Yep, you uh do not seem to find anything. It just seems to be a dead end in the cave. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if that counts for here. Uh, you don't find anything there either. That 18 okay. is fine for there. Okay. Oh, I'm. He's stuck. I'm Oh. Oh, you got your token stuck somehow. Yeah, it was stuck. It's still there. Oh, what's up? Yeah. Yeah. Still being stuck. Stop it there. I'm trying to move it <laughs> into... I just had it moved. <laughs> and you moved it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to move it all the way up. I'm going to move it there. Are you, you guys are, like, really spread out. All right, I'm following Lana. Yeah, we need to go back up north and save those people. All right, um, as you get into this chamber, Mary, you're the first to notice this. 
the top of this chamber is coated in bats. Ooh, okay. don't disturb them. And the yeah. floor is covered in what you would guano. expect. In guano? Oh, this is yeah. good! We'll tell the villagers and they can mine guano for their fields and, and it'll be far more um, um, uh, fertile. Okay, first of all, I'm going to be covering my, my mouth because I know the, the ill effects of guano. Are we on an island? Because if we are, and America might invade. Luckily, uh, your stealth rolls were high enough. None of these bats seem to notice you. Those are I, I shitty am, ass bats and they didn't hear I, me. You're I, getting I, covered I am, for by everyone else. Everyone else yeah, I am also going 17. to, you know, do the universal miming of the shh. I'm not actually making the sound, but I'm doing the miming of it. So I hold uh, my finger in front of my mouth and go, you know, and point to the bats. It's like we're coming up on something. Uh, right. Are there still footprints on the ground? There are. There is a track of footprints through these, like, piles of guano. There's, like, a very... There's a path that's relatively clear. Um, because it's been traversed. Okay, I would go often. slowly. It's to the west. I, I would uh, go slowly following the path. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I guess we're going west. That's where the it brings us? Yep. What's with this pool? Yeah, what is uh, that? That's an especially full pool of guano. Full Ooh. pool. Cover your mouth. Cover your mouth. Oh, this town will become rich with food and harvests, and and the world will be brought into natural balance. <laughs> they're not. Um, they're, I'm just showing you. There are. The, this is the combat encounter you're avoiding. Nice. Yeah. Lots of pools of guano. Okie dokies. Watch out, Dunnikin. And the path branches up ahead. Er, yeah, the path branches a little bit up ahead. Okay, uh, so... There's one dead end that we're not going to deal with. Because it is just a dead end, so keep going south. <laughs> none, of the, none of the path goes into there. It's just a dead end. The one so I'm wait, following? The path, end? the path keeps going. Up here, the path branches. Um, with footprints... Footsteps going in both directions. And from below, you can, uh, you can hear uh, down this path, you can hear soft sort of crying sounds. All right, I will make a motion. And, and... As, you, as you walk in, you see uh, in the back of the... Uh, passageway there are back up a little bit there are um like to the entrance <laughs> there you go there are two humans uh figures standing in the dark you can't make out their features mm -hmm. from here where are they they their tokens there on the gm there they're down there or where do we hear them they're, they're you hear them over here you can see them they're the you know we can't see them. I know. Yeah, no, your we characters can't can see, see them, them because they're on the TM layer. Okay, I will. I will say. Hello. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Whoa. Okay. What do you want to do? <laughs> no, it's too late. You already called out to them. All right. There is no response. Hmm. Okay, I want to take a good hard look at them before I move any closer. Because I get the feeling that they're, you know, trapped in some way. Or ghosts. Or, uh, you know. Give me a perception check. Okay. I don't uh, see they nothing. They appear to be human. Just humans. Uh, you can't really make out their features because it's dark in the cave. Even with your dark vision, it's hard to see. Oh, what about me? 24, motherfucker. All right, with your keen elven eyes... You notice a detail that uh, Mary was not able to make out. Both of these both of these humans have sustained very bad, deadly injuries. Um, deadly. One of them has his face literally just caved uh -huh. in. The other one is missing a, a big uh, chunk of flesh in his upper chest, where his heart should be. Oh. Ooh, how are they still standing? Undead, maybe? 
uh, they're probably being controlled by the mushroom. Possibly too, yeah. All right, so do I get the sense that these injuries would be incompatible with yes. normal life? The, these injuries would be life-ending. One guy of them is missing have a heart. One yeah. is missing his like upper torso area. Like it's, it's hollowed out. His spine is there. Uh, okay, his I am ribs going to, are half there. I am going to because we we don't want to make it too much noise. Well, we've already called out to them. I'm going to turn to Lana and say, "Why don't you put an arrow into it?" That's my plan. I plan hey, on. Hey, I have a I have a thought too. I do. I have. Uh... I have divine sense. I'm I'm going to see if. Uh... All right, you close your eyes. You open them again, and they're like sort of glowing with divine energy. Um, you don't see. You don't detect anything uh, undead or okay. um, de demons or celestials. Anything you sure. just see these okay. human figures. It's almost like they're illusions. At least. I don't think they're illusions. I, I think they are humanoids that have been taken over by fungoids. And okay. Fungoids? Yeah. Fungoids. <laughs> yes. Fun guys. Yeah. Not those fun guys. Do we wanna do we wanna do this battle? I, I'm kind of fading. Do we actually want to yeah, start? Let's save it for next week. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. All or, right. Oh yeah. Yeah, it is uh, almost time. It's getting a little late. We could finish this dungeon next week. I wasn't planning on finishing it all tonight anyway. Okay, cool. All right, so for next week, everybody roll an urchin, and we'll be doing, because I'm going to steal Brendan's idea, we're going to do a prequel for the Spire campaign. Yay! We'll be returning to the Spire, which you can catch on our YouTube channel. Um, Ian, how many bottles am I allowed to have? You want to make a bottle, kid? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, uh, oh, oh, I remember yeah. that because we figured out because they were a gold, gold each. each. So these, so these kids, kids were like fucking rich because they, they had like hundreds, hundreds of, bottles. of bottles. I thought they got into our booze. This was before I joined, wasn't it? Yeah. I think like a day before you joined. Or an adventure, or an adventure before, you joined. before you joined. Yeah, it was like an adventure before you, uh, hey, you joined. So before I bail here, uh, where did you get this great map? I googled for it. Okay. Google. I might have gotten this from r slash battle maps. I don't remember. Okay. All right. But I did not make this for damn sure. For sure. All right. Uh, also... For everyone on the stream, uh, thank you, Thronezilla, for watching. Have a nice night, and we'll be back tomorrow for Tomb of Annihilation at about seven seven thirty uh, Eastern Standard Time. Have a nice night. Bye, and happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Hey, Lord, did you ever...